if you want to manifest the money that you desire, you have to first feel the emotions that you'd be feeling when you have all the money before the money shows up. Does that sound familiar to you? I'm willing to bet you've heard this piece of advice a million different ways from a million different teachers. If you have heard that advice and you have tried to feel the emotions that your wealthiest version of yourself would be feeling and you struggle to do so, then this video is for you. Here's what I want you to know. You do not have to force yourself to feel specific emotions in order to manifest money or anything else that you desire. In fact, what I have learned from studying human design over the last several years is that 50% of people per human design are not supposed to be trying to force themselves to feel a certain emotion in order to then manifest the money they want. That doesn't work for them and that will in fact block the money they want. So in this video, we are going to dive into your human design chart and we are going to look at one specific part of it and determine whether you're actually meant to be manifesting via emotional embodiment or this emotional manipulation of your own emotions or if you're actually supposed to be doing something else. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how to do it no matter how your design is configured. If you don't know what human design is, don't worry, I have got you covered. I have a video that I will put a card up above here for you where you can go find out what human design is, how to get started with it, and then you can come back to this video and we'll dive in. Welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Eaton and on this channel we discuss all different sorts of spiritual modalities and how they connect to money and money manifestations. All so that you can find the right tools that work to help you call more abundance into your life. You do not need any special or prior knowledge of human design in order to understand what I'm going to walk you through next. I'm gonna break it all down for you, but you will need a copy of your human design chart. So make sure you go pull that up. If you don't have a copy of your human design chart or you're not familiar with your chart, then you can get your chart for free online. You can just do a web search for free human design chart and you'll get tons of options popping up. I will probably also link in the description below some of my favorite sites where you can get a free human design chart. You just need to know your birth date, time, and place. So go ahead and go pull that up, pause this video, go pull that up, and then once you have that ready to go, we will dive in. So for you to understand this, let's do a really quick little mini human design lesson. In human design, we have nine energy centers. The energy centers are these geometric shapes on your chart. Now each energy center governs different energy or aspects of ourselves. And when an energy center is colored in on your chart, we call it a defined energy center. This means it's activated, it's switched on in your chart. And when an energy center is not colored in on your chart, we say it is undefined. You might also hear the term open. That means there's no gates coming off of it. This gets a little bit more complex, but just know that if you have an undefined center in your chart, it just means it's not colored in your chart. It's not switched on all the time. Now, whether a center is defined or not in your chart determines how that center functions for you, how you experience the energy that that center governs throughout your life. The center we're looking at today, which everyone who's familiar with human design is pretty familiar with the center, but no one seems to understand how it works in conjunction with manifesting money, but also just manifestation in general. And that is our solar plexus center. The solar plexus center is the triangle here on the right side of the chart. The solar plexus in human design governs our emotions. It's called our emotional center. And roughly half of the world has this center defined, meaning the other half of the world has it undefined. Now here is why this center is so key to understanding how you are designed to manifest what you desire. Whether the center is defined for you or not in your chart determines whether you're supposed to be going about manifesting money or anything you desire by feeling it real before it shows up or not. So pause here if you haven't already, look at your chart and determine whether that solar plexus center is defined or not. Is it colored in, meaning it's defined, or is it not colored in, it's white, meaning it's undefined. If it is defined, you can keep watching because I am just about to dive into talking about the defined solar plexus and money manifestation now. If it is undefined, you can go to the timestamps below that I have listed for you in the description and you can jump to the section where I talk about the undefined solar plexus and manifesting money. If you have your solar plexus center defined or colored in on your human design chart, then you are what we call an emotional being in human design. And this is because you are constantly riding an emotional wave. In other words, you have emotions that aren't really connected to what's going on around you. So you may feel happy or sad or emotionally neutral, 
regardless of what's happening in your life. You might feel intense emotions for no apparent external reason. You just feel the way you feel. You have the emotions you have, period. There's no necessary rhyme or reason to why you feel the way you feel at any given time, and that's perfectly fine. That's how you're designed. This means that you can't really manipulate the emotions you feel. You can't force yourself to feel a certain way, and really, you shouldn't try to. Because the superpower or the gift of the defined solar plexus is this. Your emotions are always guiding you to the right decisions at the right time. You're meant to allow yourself to feel whatever you feel in any given moment. And you are meant to allow yourself to reach an emotionally neutral point, meaning a point where you're not feeling too emotionally high or happy or excited or too emotionally low, so sad or angry or frustrated. You're meant to kind of naturally go through periods where you, you feel those high emotions, you feel those low emotions, but in between you feel those neutral emotions. You feel that state where you're not feeling too high or too low. You're just kind of in a pretty even keel emotionally. This might be for days or hours or weeks, but you're meant to allow yourself to reach this emotionally neutral point before you make any big decisions in your life. When you do this, you start to make the most aligned decisions for yourself and all of the things you desire, the money you want, the other things you're trying to manifest into your life become easier to attain. They, they come to you so much more easily. Things start to work out more seamlessly for you in your life. The reasoning behind this is that when you're at an emotional high, you are not in the right place or time to commit to things. And same when you're at an emotional low. Because as someone with a defined solar plexus, those emotions have wisdom for you, they have guidance for you, and they are, when you're, when you're feeling real high or real low, that's your emotional state, your inner navigation telling you, now is not the right time to make a big decision. Now is not the right time to commit to things. And so it's kind of this, this built-in buffer you have, if you listen to it, that prevents you from making decisions at times when those decisions aren't ready to be made yet for you or for others. Now, if you ignore those emotions, if you try to shut them down, if you try to manipulate your emotions because you think that's how you have to manifest things, you have to feel a certain way in order to call in the money or whatever it is you desire, or you were told that emotions are a burden or something that we should shove down so you try to ignore them, whatever the reason, if you are not listening to and flowing with and allow allowing your emotions to guide you, then you are cutting off one of the most amazing gifts you have for coming into divine timing and decisions in your life. So if you have been trying to emotionally embody the version of you who has all the money you desire, I mean, when I say that, I mean feeling the feelings that you think you'd be feeling when you have all the money you desire, then one of two things is probably happening for you right now. The first option is that you are probably, when you try to do this emotional embodiment work, you probably just can't. You find it really impossible to do. The second option is that maybe you kind of find a way to kind of feel those emotions that you'd feel when you have all the money you desire, but it feels really hard to sustain it and you feel like you're starting to burn out or it feels really draining to try to feel as if. Because the truth is, from a human design perspective, you are designed to have emotions. You're designed to have a wave of emotions that flows, that goes through ebbs and flows, that goes through highs and lows, that peaks and drops off and levels out. And you're meant to be riding that wave and allowing your emotions to guide you to be at the right place at the right time and make the right decisions in the most aligned way possible for you. But if you are ignoring those or trying to manipulate those emotions, you are now cutting yourself off from one of your biggest superpowers, one of your biggest gifts per your design. And you're, you're trying to make yourself function in a way that your energy isn't really built to function. So this not only makes it feel really impossible to embody the emotions of your next level self, it also probably is blocking a lot of your money manifestations and other manifestations as well. Now let's be clear, if you have a defined solar plexus center, this doesn't mean that you can't manifest what you want. That's not at all what I'm saying here. It just means that the way you go about manifesting what you want, the way you embody the version of you who has all that you desire is going to look a little bit different from the traditional teachings of it. So here's my recommendation for you. This is the thing that I have given to hundreds of my clients that has helped them to transform their financial reality and manifest the wealth that they desire. With your defined solar plexus, stop trying to feel the emotions that you think you'd be feeling when you have all the money you want. Instead, start focusing on responding to your emotions like the version of you who has all the money you desire would. For example, let's say today you're feeling really, really sad. You're just feeling so down. You're at that emotional low point of your wave. This would not be the time 
to try to make yourself feel abundant and feel all excited about having money because you think that's how you'll feel when you have money. Instead, this is a time to say, okay, I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling tired out or I'm feeling hopeless or whatever it is that you're feeling. Acknowledge that, identify it, and then say, hmm, how would the version of me who has all the money they desire, how would they act? What would they do if they were feeling sad? Do you see how this allows you to embody the version of you who has all the wealth you desire without trying to manipulate your emotions or force yourself to change your emotional state? Because the truth is, as much as we like to think that when we have a million dollars, five million dollars, whatever amount of money you're trying to manifest, we like to think that when we have that amount of money, we will just feel happy all the time, we'll feel good, we'll feel on top of the world, we'll feel confident, but that's not necessarily true. Even when you have all the money you desire, you will still have days where you feel sad. Especially with a defined solar plexus, you'll just feel sad sometimes. Sometimes you'll feel on top of the world for no reason. You will still have emotions when you have all the money you desire. So how would that version of you handle those emotions? Do that now as much as you can. So what would the future version of yourself, the version of you who has the money you desire, what would they do when they start, like we said with our example, when they start feeling sad, when they identify that they're feeling low in some way, emotionally, what would they do? Would they force themselves to go work or to go try to make more money? Or would they take a break? Would they take a nap? Would they go for a walk? Would they watch some TV? What would they do? Figure that out, identify what that is, and then go do that thing as much as you can in your current circumstances. This is how you embody and manifest wealth with a defined solar plexus in your human design chart. When you do this sort of embodiment work, you are still living from the end state. You're living from that state of the wish fulfilled. You are acting like the version of you who has all the money you desire and you are addressing your emotions the way your next level self, the way that version of you who's super rich would be addressing their emotions. You are embodying that whole next level alternate future reality, whatever you want to call it. You're embodying it, you're drawing it to you, you are becoming it, you're stepping into it when you approach embodiment this way. And you're doing it in a way that doesn't compromise your natural gift of your emotions. And if you're sitting here thinking, wow, this sounds really great, Taylor, but I still have to go to work when I feel sad right now. And I know my next level self wouldn't have to do that because they'd have $5 million in the bank and they wouldn't need to go to work if they felt sad and they could just take a day off. I want to remind you that you do cycle through emotions. That is a constant for you with your defined solar plexus. So it might not be that you need to take a whole day off work. Maybe you just need to take a 15 minute break and walk around the block and allow your emotional wave to move through its own natural course. Or maybe if you run your own business, maybe you do just need to take a day off, but then you're going to work through the weekend because you're gonna feel so inspired and you're gonna feel like you gave yourself the nurturing and the, the rest you needed at that low point like the next level version of you would. And something to note with the defined solar plexus is that the less that you fight against whatever emotion you're experiencing, the less that you try to force it to change and the more that you just detach from it and observe it and allow it to run its course and allow yourself to meet yourself where you're at emotionally, typically the faster your emotional wave will cycle through its emotions and you'll get back to that neutral point or that maybe even high feeling point if that's where you wanna be. And also the less you will self-sabotage and do things from that emotionally low or emotionally high charged place that you can't keep up with or that burn you out or that actively get in the way of you bringing in the money you desire. Now, I will acknowledge that learning to trust your emotions, learning to ride that wave, learning to get in the habit of responding to your emotions as that version of you who has all the money you desire would, I know that that is so much easier said than done. It's not something we're taught to do in our society. We're taught to work against our emotions instead of with them. So I have created a free meditation for you. This meditation is designed to help you stop fighting your emotions and instead start harnessing the power of them and of your defined solar plexus and everything we've discussed here to manifest more money into your life in a way that actually feels good to you and works with you. You can get that free meditation at the link in the description below. I will also probably pin it in the comments for you as well. Now I do want to note here that the solar plexus center is just one of many parts of the human design chart that all come into play when it comes down to how you specifically and uniquely are designed to make or manifest money. So if this sort of stuff is really interesting to you and really resonates with you, then I have a ton of other human design and money content that's available 
two of my programs I highly recommend, Money Matrix and Wired for Wealth. They both address different parts of the human design chart and different ways that you were designed to make money or interact with it. Those are both actually on a really big sale right now. So I will link all of those human design resources, those two programs for you, again, in the description below so that you can go check those out if this calls to you, if you wanna go deeper with learning how to use your human design to call in more money the way you're designed to. Those programs are so powerful and have changed hundreds of people's lives. So if this calls to you, I highly recommend picking them up while they're on sale. If you're watching this after the month of November and they're no longer on sale, they are always still available at an incredibly affordable price for what's included. So I would encourage you to, again, go check those out. I am now going to switch over to talking about the undefined solar plexus and how that works with money manifestation and wealth embodiment. So if you are curious about that, you are welcome to keep watching and join us there. But otherwise, I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope you found it useful. I hope it's a little bit of a permission slip for you to not fight your emotions, but instead embrace the power of them and to work with them to manifest all the wealth that you desire. If you want more spiritual tips around manifesting money into your life through human design, and other modalities, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I talk about all sorts of money tips and tools through a spiritual lens here. And I can't wait to share more of that with you. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, I trust that you will give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you took away from it. Let me know that you have a defined solar plexus. Let me know how this resonated with you. I'd love to get to connect with you there. Otherwise, I will talk to you all very soon in an upcoming video. If your solar plexus center on your chart is white or not colored in, that means that it's undefined. And what we're gonna talk about next is for you. So with an undefined solar plexus, what this means in a nutshell is that while you, yes, you still have emotions because you are human, your emotions are much more malleable and flexible than people with a defined solar plexus. So the traditional manifestation advice of feel the feelings that you would be experiencing when you have the thing you desire, that can work for you, that applies to you. I personally have an undefined solar plexus and this has been one of my favorite ways to manifest the money and everything else that I desire in my life is feeling the feelings of having the thing already and having it be done. But if you've come this far in this video, I am willing to guess that you probably to some degree struggle with actually feeling abundant before the money you desire shows up, with actually feeling those emotions of having your desire already, right? And honestly, even though this advice can work for you with an undefined solar plexus, there are also reasons why having the undefined solar plexus makes this hard to do at times. So I wanna share some tips with you that have helped hundreds of my clients with an undefined solar plexus to manifest more money. And like I said, have also helped myself to do the same. So here's the deal. With an undefined solar plexus, you feel emotions so much more strongly than people with a defined solar plexus. Even though people with a defined solar plexus have their kind of set emotions, these emotions that they can't shift, they just have to kind of wait them out. You with your undefined solar plexus come in and pick up on those emotions and amplify them. That's what our undefined energy centers do is they pick up that energy that other people have those centers defined of in their chart. They pick up that energy, take them in and amplify them. It's almost like this beautiful mirror for people you come into contact with, but we're not really taught this, right? We're just taught that, oh my gosh, you just have big emotions. So sometimes the people with undefined solar plexuses, undefined solar plexus centers, are the most emotional people on the surface. They seem like they are so, they have such big emotions, right? And so that might be something that you heard as a kid. So if you're watching this and going, well, I don't have a defined solar plexus, but I was told I have all these big emotions or I feel like I'm such an emotional person. It's just that you're, you're very empathic. You're able to pick up on other people's emotions and amplify them. And that in and of itself, is a gift, but it can also be a burden. Just like anything, any gift we have, anything in our human design chart, it can be used to help us or hinder us depending on how we look at it and how we know to use it. Now keep in mind that about half of the world has this center defined. So statistically, you are probably coming into contact with people with a defined solar plexus and amplifying their emotions several times a day. So you might very well be regularly feeling very stubborn and intense emotions that feel like they can't be shifted that aren't even yours. And they might feel very real to you in the moment. They might feel like they're yours as you're experiencing them because you're experiencing them so deeply. You are feeling so deeply, but you have to understand that these are not your emotions. Not all the time. Sometimes they're yours, but most of the time, they're not. And so when you feel these really deep emotions, it may feel really hard or even impossible to shift them, to change them, to then feel the feeling of having all the money you desire. So if and when you find yourself in these situations where it feels really hard or impossible to feel the emotions of your next level future wealthy self, then here's my advice for you. Take a few moments to yourself, take a few deep breaths, 
maybe do a little bit of a grounding exercise. Just come back to yourself, center yourself, come into the present moment. And then ask yourself if this emotion that you're feeling is yours or not. If it isn't your emotion, if you, you have that intuitive understanding that this isn't mine, this isn't my emotion, then allow yourself to release it. Sometimes just having that conscious awareness and bringing that consciousness to the to the situation of this isn't actually mine, that sometimes alone is enough to help us release it. If not, or if the, the intuitive guidance says, yeah, this is my emotion, this belongs to me, this isn't something I picked up from someone else, then allow yourself to sit with that emotion and ask it or yourself, what is this emotion trying to teach me? What is it trying to guide me toward? Be gentle with yourself as always and just allow yourself to feel this feeling until it's ready to release, until it's ready to pass. Often with our undefined solar plexus, there is wisdom for us or guidance for us in the emotions that are harder to release or that are ours. And we need to slow down sometimes and listen to those, that, that guidance in order to then be able to release it. And sometimes because we're human, we just need to tend to ourselves a little bit and be gentle and nurture ourselves a little bit in order to then move through a really stubborn or big emotion. So once you have released this emotion, whether it happens very quickly or takes you a day or a couple days to work through, once you're back at that neutral point, that, that emotionally kind of neutral baseline point where you're not too high, you're not too low, that part where you probably hang out most of the time when you're just on your own, you're not really high or low emotionally. Once you get back to that place, then you start consciously embodying the emotions or feelings that the version of you who has all the money you, you want would be feeling. Now, I know that actually feeling abundant before the money shows up, actually feeling and embodying the emotions that you'd experience when you are incredibly wealthy, I know that that is so much easier said than done. I get it. So I have created a free meditation for you that is designed to help you quickly and easily shift into that emotional state that you'd be in once you have all the money you desire so that you can start to attract and manifest and speed up your money manifestations. It is designed specifically to harness the power of your undefined solar plexus. So you can find that free meditation at the link in the description below. I will probably also pin it for you in the comments. Now I do want to note here that the solar plexus center is just one of many parts of the human design chart that all come into play when it comes down to how you specifically and uniquely are designed to make or manifest money. So if this sort of stuff is really interesting to you and really resonates with you, then I have a ton of other human design and money content that's available. Two of my programs I highly recommend, Money Matrix and Wired for Wealth. They both address different parts of the human design chart and different ways that you were designed to make money or interact with it. Those are both actually on a really big sale right now. So I will link all of those human design resources, those two programs for you, again, in the description below so that you can go check those out if this calls to you, if you wanna go deeper with learning how to use your human design to call in more money the way you're designed to. Those programs are so powerful and have changed hundreds of people's lives. So if this calls to you, I highly recommend picking them up while they're on sale. If you're watching this after the month of November and they're no longer on sale, they are always still available at an incredibly affordable price for what's included. So I would encourage you to, again, go check those out. Now, I hope that this video was helpful for you. I hope it was a permission slip. I hope it had some helpful tips for you. If you want more spiritual tools and tips around manifesting money, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like I said, this is where we talk about all that sort of stuff and I'm constantly putting out new videos around different modalities, human design and other modalities as well, all about how to leverage them to make money in a way that feels good to you. And if you enjoyed this video, I trust that you will hit the thumbs up button and that you will comment below and let me know what you're taking away from it, what you thought of it. Also, let me know that you have an undefined solar plexus. I always am curious about the different parts of the designs of the people who are watching these videos and what resonates the most with you. So I would love to get to connect with you in the comments below. I can't wait to see you there and I will talk to you all very soon on an upcoming video.